Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome to a new episode of Health from Huda TV. And today we're talking about cataract. Of course, many of us have heard the, uh, the word and many of us have even suffered of it. And uh, this is why we have today with us Dr. Ahmad Munsif, lecturer and consultant of ophthalmology Ain Shams University in Cairo, to talk to us about cataract and how to deal with it. Dr. Ahmed, thank you for coming today. It's a pleasure to be with you here. Thank you very much. And um, we're talking about cataract. Of course, many of our viewers um, are familiar with the, with the term cataract, and some of them, as I said, maybe have or had cataract before. And um, uh, let's talk about cataract first. What, what is cataract? Cataract is terminology used to describe uh, opacity in the crystalline lens, which is a tr normally transparent structure that focus light rays which enters the eye into a single focus on the retina. Mm -hmm. uh, the term cataract derives its uh, name from uh, the white froth over the water under uh, waterfalls. Yes. Uh, we and we used to describe uh, opacity, any lens opacity as cataract. Mm -hmm. Cataract is one of the most common uh, uh, diseases that happen uh, during by aging. And cataract surgery is the most commonly done operation worldwide. Yes. Uh, more than one million cases of cataract surgery have been done in the United States every year. Yes. Uh, it's a very common uh, disease which we face. Yes. So you, you were talking about the lens. Yes. Uh, we have a lens inside the, the eye. And uh, I want you to talk to our viewers about the lens and uh, how, how, it, how it works. Uh, the lens is uh, normally, as I said, uh, is normally a transparent structure. Yes. It's formed of, formed of certain types of proteins. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it was uh, besides cornea, which is a normally transparent uh, glass dome in front of the anterior of the eye. Uh, both act uh, like a lens system, which, which is they are responsible for focusing light rays on the retina. Mm -hmm. uh, the crystalline lens differs from the cornea uh, as it is the, the modifiable part of our lens system. As yes. we see in this uh, photo, we have here in front, uh, we have the cornea and yes. behind is the lens, which is a normally transparent structure. Mm -hmm. uh, it focuses light rays on, uh, on the retina so we can get a clear, sharp image. Uh, by age, uh, there is a clumping of lens protein occur, mm -hmm. leading to cloudening of the lens and hence we have cataract. So the cataract occurs because the protein which used to be transparent letting the light pass and letting us to see clearly now it's lost its transparency. Lost yes, its yes 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 uh -huh. uh, due to many causes. Uh, yes. maybe Wha what makes what makes it do this? Uh, the most common cause is uh, senile cataract. It uh, comes with aging yes. due to exposure uh, to ultraviolet rays uh, f from the sun all over the uh, over the, the years of life. Uh, it may happen due to trauma. May happen due to metabolic disease like diabetes, which is the most common cause. Uh, in as I, I mean as a metabolic disease. Yes. Uh, it may be congenital. Uh, a child born with cataract due to intrauterine infection or. Uh, it may occur in the early life, uh, in the first few years of life with malnutrition disease and hy like hypocalcemia and some, some, some types of important error of metabolism like uh, galactosemia. Yes. So, so it's important to when you have a congenital or infantile cataract, search for systemic cause because uh, most probably you have uh, another big problem you have to deal with. It's not only cataract. So one would tell you, especially if it's a child, um, how do I know that I have cataract? Uh, normally, yes. we, uh, our children should uh, go into routine uh, examinations. Uh, other uh, presentation, like uh, the child may have squint, because cataract and e at early age, early ages, of early years of life may lead to squint, yes. which means deviation of eye. Uh, so uh, concent the child will concentrate only on the, uh, the seeing eye. Yes. How about the elderly? How would, would they notice the cataract in early stages, not when it comes at late stage? Uh, cataract have many uh, presenta presenting uh, symptoms. Uh, the first of all, uh, decreased quality of vision. Uh, th they get uh, they feel that as if the light is them, uh, they can't see at night. Uh, frequently changing of glasses, uh, 
and lastly it ends by uh, complete shadowing of the vision and she ca he can't see anymore yes that's very dramatic but in the early stages when the uh, when the patient comes to you uh, what do you do to um, to recognize the cataract and is there a method to um, to measure how much opacity has occurred to the to the lens uh, actually it is not uh, important to, to, to know who, how tennis is a cataract because uh, we can we examine it by sit lamp or something like this but uh, the grading of cataract actually is depend on mainly on clinical examination not on uh, certain instrument or certain uh, device or machine uh, we examine by what's called sit lamp mm -hmm. it gives us a cut uh, optical cut in uh, the lens so we can see how dense cataract is and it where it's located uh, however, uh, as grading for cataract, it's only to, to modify my technique or our technique in surgery. Uh, but n uh, no we no longer uh, de say cataract, early cataract, not to operate, let cataract operate. Uh, it's once cataract, it's cataract and it's pathology, and we have to deal with it. So, does that mean that everybody who's getting cataract, one day or the other, should have a surgery? Yes. That's, that's definite? Yes, definitely because it's ultimate uh, treatment. Yeah, so, uh, yes. And the, uh, uh, over the case, we, they used to mm. say, wait for cataract to be, uh, to ripe out in, uh, and wait for, uh, to be getting mature cataract, and so you remove it. Actually, this apply for the all techniques of cataract surgery removal. When we used to wait for cataract to be consolidated in single piece, so we open large wound more than about 10 to 13 millimeters, so we can get it out as a single piece, mm -hmm. and we introduce a uh, hard uh, intraoxal lens. Uh, however, the technique differs totally. We use a small wound, more or less 2.2 uh, up to 3 millimeter uh, wound, sutureless without suture. We can get. Uh, disintegrate uh, the cataract by what's called ultrasonic waves yes. and small particles and suck it out. Yeah, we'll be talking about the, the treatment uh, in the later segments of this program, but when, when somebody has a cataract, when do you tell them now is the time for the surgery? Uh, there is no single answer for this question yes. because it differs about what the uh, patient needs. What does he need? What does he need, yes. yes. Uh, for example, if you have a, a pilot mm -hmm. uh, who has very faint cataract yes. and six over nine vision, which is almost good vision, yes. uh, it will not be satisfactory for him, for, for the needs of his job. It yes, needs, yes. Yes. needs much higher level, mm -hmm. so he'll do cataract. Yes. But for example, uh, old lady which ha has a general illness and uh, she has a moderate, even moderate cataract, yeah, mo more than the what's called faint for the pilot. Yes. Um, and her vision is 660, and it's uh, not good. Uh, it's not very good. Yes. yes. Uh, however, uh, it's satisfactory for her. She, she it suffices her, it suffices her needs. Yes, for as long as she needs just to move around and yes, uh, go yes, to yes. Uh, inside the home, or even if she goes out a very little, very uh, short distance. Yes, short distance. Yes. So this is uh, this is because many of the patients, uh, when they go to their doctor, and they still. Let's say they still can see, as, w as they would say, I, c I still can see. And then the doctor told me I need an operation. And uh, this, this, this dilemma usually happens uh, when somebody is struck with the, uh, with the news that they're getting a surgery for the eye. Eye surgery, of course, might be one of the uh, most worrying um, things for, for a person uh, when, he, when they, he's told he's uh, getting an eye surgery. So this is usually uh, a common question to be heard. Um, so when, when you decide to put somebody into surgery, uh, what precautions do you have to do before doing the surgery? Uh, first, we examine him to exclude, to, 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 to confirm our diagnosis. Uh, for example, uh, we can see, uh, uh, as you can see in this picture, yes. we have uh, the lens is getting dim. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have uh, what's called brown cataract, mm -hmm. or like this picture, when it uh, come into turn into white color, color like this. Yes. Uh, if we have uh, the brown uh, cataract, so we can see the fundus, we have to examine the whole eye to, to make sure that we have don't have any other problem in the eye otherwise other than cataract. Because mm -hmm. if, for example, he has retinal detachment or something like glaucoma or optic atrophy, if we did the cataract surgery, he would not benefit at all. Yes. 
Yes. So we have to make sure that uh, there, is an, uh, not, uh, there isn't any other pathology in the eye. So you have to treat other problems if there exists before you do the catheter. Yeah, or with the catheter. Or with the catheter. It, it's m mostly important because of medical importance and to, to, to know that let the patient know that he have another problem. Yes. Uh, sometimes we do cataract even if the patient does, com does not complain because we want to, 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 uh, to allow us to better examination inside the eye, for example, as in diabetic patients, mm -hmm. to examine the retina, to deliver laser to the retina. Yes. Uh, better uh, treatment with laser uh, can, uh, can be achieved when we remove the cataract. So you can treat multiple problems at the same time with the same yes, surgery with the yes, same opening. Yes, yes, yes. yes that's that's but you should be, uh, be prepared. Uh, don't, uh, not course, should be a yes. surprise. However, in such cataract like white cataract, we can't examine the eye, so we use another devices that can tell us about wha what's inside the eye, like uh, ultrasound uh, uh, P-scan. Mm -hmm. okay, it can give the eye a, a good idea about the structure of the eye inside, uh, whether there is a retinal attachment or not, for that's example. Very interesting. Yes. So we have a short break, and then when we come back, we'll be talking in details about uh, the types of surgeries that you can do for a patient with a cataract. Brothers and sisters, we have a short break, so don't go away. We uh, will be coming back, inshallah. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum, and welcome back to health from huda tv we're still talking about cataract we in the uh, previous segment we've been talking about how to diagnose and how to try to manage the problem and we knew that we, we have to do surgery dr ahmed how many types of surgeries do you or do we have in the field of uh, of treatment of cataract these days from the historical point of view, have a, a lot of many, many, many techniques. Yes. However, uh, nowadays we only have two techniques. Two techniques. Yes. These are uh, the most common. These are most commonly used and the only done nowadays. Exactly, yes. Yes, uh, because other techniques has a higher, very high rate of complications and uh, not good results. Uh, thanks to medical engineering, uh, the new advances in technology, we have uh, we, we are, we our work divided in two types of cataract surgery. Either the extra capsular type, which is preserved only for the hard cataracts, and we'll discuss it later, yes. and the other type is what's called phaco emulsification. Mm -hmm. The extra capsular technique, it's meant to be done by s s uh, routine scalpel. We open large wound, uh, about 10 mm -hmm. to 13 millimeter uh, uh, in size. That's considered to be a large wound. Yes, mm -hmm. ex extremely large wound. Extremely. Uh, I, I used That's to. That's 1.3 centimeters. Yes. 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 Uh, In the eye, it is big. I, it's too big. Yes. Um, uh, and then we open the anterior capsule, and then we get out the lens out in single piece, yes. and then we wash inside the eye and implant what's called intraocular lens or IOL, which is hard one with, with 13 millimeter diameter. Mm -hmm. So then we then we take sutures, and leave suture for 1.5 or two months, of, and then we remove the sutures, and then we prescribe glasses for the patient. Mm -hmm. Very long rehabilitation time, mm -hmm. pain, uh, uh, high rate of complications, larger wound means larger uh, possibility for infection, yes. uh, stitches may means troubles, introduction of infection inside the eye. A uh, patient is not happy at all until after we remove the sutures and prescribe him glasses. The sutures in the cornea? Yes. yes. So what makes such a an unsatisfactory, at least at the, at the early stages, unsatisfactory procedure to be mandatory to be done for such patients. Excuse me? W I mean, why would some patients definitely need to have this surgery? Because w when we have, uh, w when we describe the other technique, we will we, we'll figure out uh, why. Yes. Uh, the other techniques, we use uh, what's called fake emulsification yes. uh, through a very small wound, mm -hmm. about 2.2 to up to 3 millimeter wound. We can introduce a certain machine like a pin, and we, uh, it, it, it disintegrates the cataract in small pieces, mm -hmm. and we get it out, mm -hmm. which is called fake emulsification. Yes. Uh, we get it out through the small wound, and then we put what's called foldable lens. So it's, it's a lens with 13 millimeter diameter also, mm -hmm. but it's foldable. It's very Plastic. soft, yes. yes. And so we can put it in something like injector and inject it inside the eye. As we can see in this movie, mm -hmm. It's a real-time movie. Yes. Uh, actually, in this eye, 
uh, we can do it under local anesthesia yes. or even topical. In this case, we, we have done it uh, under topical anesthesia. As you can see, the eye can move. It's just single, it's uh, just single eye drops like pinoxinate. Yes. Uh, after this, we open a small wound and we inject viscoelastic. And then we create the mean wound, which which um, most about three millimeter in diameter. Mm -hmm. After this, we put something to improve visualization and introduce a pent needle of 23 gauge or 25 uh, gauge uh, needle to open the anterior capsule. Yes. We create a flap like this. Yes. We create a flap and then we, we, we rotate it to open the anterior capsule. Yes. What kind of anesthesia does the patient have here? Yes, uh, as the I told you, general uh, anesthesia? no, 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 only topical, just topical with sedation. With but sedation. Yes, but it needs cooperative patients. Mm -hmm. uh, most of our patients uh, are done under local anesthesia. The difference, topical, just eye drops. Topic, uh, local, we inject uh, anesthetic agents besides around the eye. eye. Yes, yes, around the eye. And the patient does not see what's going on. Uh, actually, he can see in some can see. in certain circumstances. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. In, in, as in topical, he can see. Yes, and uh, even I can discuss with him. I'm going to do so and so and so. And uh, but isn't that scary for some people? No, no, no. We, we, when you talk in a friendly way, he, he feels the confidence. Yes, uh, it's uh, very important to be confident. And yes, 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 yes. Uh, and it's very important to have a negotiation, uh, to, to conversation with uh, with the patient during uh, the operation. Yes, b not to, to to do any vigorous movement uh, while you are inside the eye. Yes, of course. As you can see, after opening the anterior capsule, we introduce uh, the the probe, which is like a pen. Can you uh, that we can see? Mm -hmm. it we disintegrate uh, the lens into fragments. As you can uh, first divide into in two parts, <coughs> then. After this integration in two parts, we disconnect in four parts. And then we take each part separately outside the eye. That's the old lens. Yes. Yes. This? The old lens that you took out. Yes. After this, we wash up the lens remnants inside the eye, okay, as you can see. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, uh, the left lens particles. It's moved by another machine another device like the fecal probe also. Mm -hmm. After cleaning the cortical, uh, the, the bag totally from lens matter, we introduce the injector. We inject vesicle elastic, elastic and then this is the injector. We, we push the lens as we can see mm -hmm. inside the eye and rotate it to stabilize it inside. Yes. As we can see, it's a very simple procedure. Uh, we close. Uh, you don't take st stitches at the end. So we just do what's called stromal hydration. In stromal hydration, we, we in in inject the fluid inside the co co wound to make it uh, hydrated, so it it's closed, self-sealed wound. Mm -hmm. um, this technique can't be done in very hard cutters. The machine cannot disintegrate the lens into small particles. Yes. Or even you can do it but with very high energy, which is thermal, uh, yeah, thermal, 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 thermal and the mechanical and injury that can ma that may harm the tissues. So we, we is our sincere advice, please don't be late with your cataracts. That's very important. It should be removed as early as possible. I know this is different what uh, people used to hear before, but the technology differs totally now, mm -hmm. and there is no longer uh, opinion. Uh, a point to wait for cataract to ripe out. Mm -hmm. So, after surgery, the patient goes out. Um, what happens after this? Uh, first, I have to tell you that cataract surgery lasts more than this. Was a, a real-time video. Uh, it takes only about uh, f ten to fifteen minutes. The patient have to attend the hospital just uh, about half an hour before the surgery yes. to put dilating eye drops and take the the, uh, the intraocular lens measurements uh, to know the power of the eye which I'm going to implant inside the eye. Mm -hmm. And after remo ending the operation, we just mm -hmm. put an eye patch, prescribe the, the, uh, the drugs, which will form mostly of two or three uh, eye drops, types of eye drops, uh, and then uh, give the prescription to him, and he, he can leave at once. And, and the patient has uh, something to cover his eye for the, for yes. the next uh, how long? Uh, only three to four hours. Just three, four to hours? Yes. And, and he, when he's at home, he can remove it and. By himself. 
and, and open his eyes and see. Uh, if there might be, uh, if he had local anesthesia, the local anesthesia may affect vision for, 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 for a while. Yes. Uh, however, he should remove the patch and start treatment. It's much better than starting treatment uh, next Later. day. Uh, we instruct patient not to do an effort, mm -hmm. uh, not to carry something. But however, this uh, instruction used to, to tell, we used to tell about uh, with the old technique, the extra capsule technique. However, however with fake commercialization, he can even travel second day. Travel? Yes. That's very interesting. And, and uh, after how long does the vision come back to normal this time? In fake commercialization? Yes. In, in less than two days. Two days? Yes. That's very interesting. So a very very short rehabilitation time, mm -hmm. and he doesn't have to do anything except doing the medications for a short time afterwards. He can do whatever he wants. Even the restriction uh, about carrying, uh, going out, uh, traveling. Uh, we used to say with uh, the extra capsule technique is no longer present now. So you cannot do both eyes at the same time. No, you do not do this. It, uh, it's not right. Um, for 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 uh, for many reasons. However, uh, the most important is la for for, uh, for uh, if you have any problem uh, like uh, something happened uh, regarding the infection or something trouble in the machine or whatever, uh, so it doesn't happen for both eyes. eyes. So this takes me to my next question. If, uh, if Allah forbids <laughs> we have problems, what kind of problems do we expect from such a surgery? Although it's minimal, yes. n uh, less than about 1%. Yes. Uh, however, it should be mentioned to the patient he might have uh, the most, the, uh, our nightmare is infection. Uh, as uh, any other problem ca can be managed and it's not a uh, problem anymore. Um, Calculations I will uh, uh, even ha have been now solved with uh, with newer techniques and newer machines. Yes. Um, uh, it's it's no uh, really really any really, uh, it's very rare it's very rare to such to face uh, complication from cataract surgery. It's very yes. rare. So, but maybe if somebody has uh, diabetes and uh, is um, he's more prone to infection. So y you you need to adjust the general condition of the person of the patient who's having the, the operation so yes, that yes, to minimize as possible the, the uh, risk uh, of infection. Yes, yes. Uh, but um, actually, uh, I, I'm more concerned about uh, mm. his general uh, health more than, I, I, it doesn't really affect me inside, uh, in cataract surgery. In uh, particular. In particular, yes. Yes. Uh, what I'm concerned about, uh, just is controlled, not to under, with the stress of uh, the operation, get into coma for something like this. How long does the uh, the new lens last? Do, do they do we have to it's change it's it one and for all? Yes, it's once. All. Yes, it lasts. Uh, it's uh, injected once, and it's in the eye f for, for for a for very life. long time. Yes. Even with the, the eye oil injected in the in uh, when we do cataract surgery for infants in congenital cataract, which is implanted in the first year of life, yes, it can st uh, uh, stay in the eye for for the rest of his life. That's very good. So. Uh, um, Afterwards, how could somebody protect himself from getting cataract? This is, uh, this is, I believe, would be a very interesting answer for most of our viewers. To yeah, actually, uh, cataract is, uh, I don't consider it is a disease. It yes. is an aging process. Uh -huh. As Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, yes. Yes. Every, every disease has, three, has a cure yes. except, except aging. aging yes. Cataract is part of aging. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, some people say it might you might decrease the risk of the cataract if you protect your eye from uh, sun uh, direct sun rays, wearing sunglasses, uh, wearing uh, uh, hats with uh, uh, cover like this to, to protect your eye from ultraviolet because ultraviolet has a very uh, known uh, effect in introducing uh, cataract in, uh, in our eyes. Dr. Ahmad Monsef, lecturer and consultant of Ophthalmology at Shams University. Thank you very much for thank being you. with us and thank you for the very great information you've been giving us. Thank Dear you. brothers and sisters, thank you for joining us today and I hope it has been beneficial for you to, uh, to watch our episode. Until next time, please write to us. Our email is health at huda.tv and of course our website is, uh, is huda.tv and our Facebook is facebook.com slash health.huda.tv. Until next time, 
We hope to hear from you. Have a great and healthy life, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh.